no. Okay. Like okay. what I've seen in a lot of jobs, it's, okay. it's I'm amazed at some of the things they're are, they're asking from entry level people. I'm like, how would an yeah. entry level person even have that knowledge to deliver that work that you want or that project? Like they that like it's yeah, it's 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 mad. I think that the the companies are asking for a lot because the market's changed and they kind of can. There was the great resignation, which was a candidate market. Candidates were demanding this and that because they were like, right, now's the time to cement something that is a little bit more equal. Um, remote working, things like that. But now even Zoom asking their um are asking their um staff to go back to the office. Do you hear about that? <laughs> I didn't hear about that, but I was going to ask you about the work from home because that 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 was um, an area that I wanted to talk about. But I didn't hear about Zoom. Um, what was their what was their mandate? so what Zoom was the like the pioneer it yeah. was before Teams. Um, yeah, because they Zoom. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. When everyone went thing, they couldn't yeah. even deal with the demand. They their technology couldn't fully support the amount of people that suddenly went remote overnight because mm -hmm. of COVID. They expanded. And they were like, we're the like we want to pioneer work from home. Like you should be able to work from home. Did it? Obviously, that's like their yeah. message M makes sense for their brand and what they do. They've asked their teams to come back into the office. Like I don't know if it's full time. Or if it's, I, I, I think it was a story because it might have been five days a week, mm. but it, it could have been three days. But either way, they asked their teams to come back into the office. And that was a surprise. I was surprised to hear that. Okay. Because I was like, if wow. Zoom is asking people to come back in, then, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're kind of like, okay, so then other companies are a lot more likely to follow suit. There were some companies that said that they were going to stay remote that then just changed. And they were like, no, we're going to ask at least for hybrid now. So yeah, it's 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 yeah it's changed a lot there's a lot a lot going on but i i think remote working i think my personal biases are going to get in the way here because i'm like i am a big advocate for remote working i think say it that, no go ahead yeah, like, i'm, a, I'm, I'm an advocate, advocate for it as well i'm an advocate for, I, I'm an advocate I, just, for it i know well, some yeah. people do prefer five days a week and i get that um there are some things that can't be duplicated mm when you're not there in person. But those things, in my opinion, are very minimal. And when you, you know, you've seen all the arguments on LinkedIn, but when people are more productive, they're, they've had a full night's sleep. They're not waking up an, like an hour early to yeah. get ready, then an hour or two hours travel. It's so inefficient. It's unbelievable. And, you know, not, not having a healthy breakfast, yeah. not having a healthy lunch, spending more, you know, it's, I can't see how you could hope to get the best out of someone in that way. Yeah. I find that to be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't think it's just control. I think, but I I noticed when there was this big argument about remote work. So when people started being asked mm. to come back into the office, a lot of I think it was Alan Sugar. Um, is it Sir Alan or is it Lord Alan now? I can't remember. Uh, Lord, Lord Sugar. I think Lord, Lord, Sugar, Lord, Lord Sugar. Yeah. But yeah, we'll he um, <laughs> he was one of the first people to be to say uh, that oh people should come back into the office mm. and like he put out this. It was it was really controversial at the time when he said it and he put out this statement. No, people need to come back <laughs> into the office. You're not working at home. Da, da, da. You know how he just says whatever. Yeah. Like, he doesn't care. He'll just say what he thinks. And then I think it was Boris Johnson that just said people need to go back into the office. You know at home. You know it's not helpful to be back at home and be going back and forth to the fridge for a piece of cheese or something. <laughs> oh and God. people were like, you're talking about yourself. Like that's not that's not what everyone <laughs> does. And it was just like. Yeah, but I noticed it was a lot of the wealthy business owners that were saying people aren't working at home. They're lazy. They need to come back in da -da, because like it's it. They are not the workers. <laughs> do you yeah. know what I mean? Like they, I'm not saying that they don't do anything, but they're not doing the day to day grind right. operational yeah. stuff. So they don't I don't think that they fully under, either either they've never done it or it's been years since they did mm. it. So they don't really understand how psychologically draining that demand yeah. is and physically and for people that have kids as well and people that have disabilities um some people th there's, there's a range of disabilities that people have some mm. of them are undiagnosed which mean that working in an office environment can be very it's like overstimulation mm -hmm. the amount of interruptions the amount of yeah just it was it's just it's more productive overall mm. in my mind to at mm. least have the option for people to work remotely that I want agree. to do it and the people that want to be in person should be there because then you're in a position where you're surrounded by people who all want to be there, not yeah. someone who's just like, I'm waiting for the clock. I'm waiting to get, you know, instead of sitting here arguing about aircon, yeah. arguing about, do you know what I mean? Whatever, everyone, yeah. you know, it's, it's, yeah. I think if given the choice, I was, I was, as we've seen, most people would like to work from home. That's the choice. Yeah. I think as we've seen, right? Which is why they're trying to mandate it. Mm. Because people do. They prefer to work. Because obviously, like we said, if if you've got like a one hour commute into work, 
that's two hours you've lost mm. that you could have been working, that you could yeah. have been doing something else, right? And then you've also got to get ready as well in the in the morning. Yep. Um, and not only that, it usually takes longer to get back because of how busy <laughs> busy it is. And then not only that, is you spend the money on the travel, yeah, it'll be fifteen quid. Then you're spending lunch in London, what we know is Mm. 10 to 15 so 30 pounds a day just to just to be in office versus if you're not you, yeah. you're gonna save you could have a 10 pound lunch and have yeah. a nice lunch you save yourself 20 quid so of yeah. course like for most people they're gonna look at that and be like i save myself time mm. i save myself money mm. well yeah <laughs> why wouldn't the i general prefer stress this of like just sitting, exactly. sitting in traffic or getting on for the bus yeah the train or, or squeezing or, on a tube oh or gosh. something like that the like tube yeah Can you move down please all of that yeah no, none of that it's none crazy that. It's just, okay yeah so okay so i wasn't imagining that yeah there are definitely more mandates from from companies so i guess the question that i wanted to ask you was how can somebody i guess navigate that conversation of you know work from home if they're potential employer if they're going for like an interview especially if the employer doesn't even know like what the situation is they don't even really say anything how can they kind of navigate that because that's a new kind of topic yeah, now new. over the last few years yeah so first of all i think that all employers should stay up front if, a, if the job is remote if it's hybrid if it's working five days in the office so mm. Be clear about their expectations. That's not on a lot of adverts. Yeah. Or they'll say hybrid when it's not. Um, or they'll say remote when it's only one day from home. Mm. Or they'll just not mention it at all. And then you'll speak to the employer and they'll say, oh, you only need to come in one day a week. And it's like, yeah. why didn't you put that on the ad? You would have had so many more yeah. applications. So I think that's the first thing. Navigating that conversation. It's new territory for me as well. So uh, my I would recommend that people ask up front if it's something that's important to them. Yeah. So in the first, let's say that you apply for a job, you're shortlisted for the job and you're having the first conversation with someone. Ask in that first conversation. Uh, it doesn't need to be the first thing that you say. Yeah. But it's kind of like if the salary isn't on the advert. If they if someone contacts me and they email me saying, oh, we'd love to arrange a telephone call. Great. What's the salary? Like mm. not in that so many words, not as blunt, but I get straight to the point. I'm like, mm. please, could you let me know the salary range for this role? Because what's the point in the telephone call if, yeah. do you know what I mean? You're paying minimum wage and I can't, and I've got, I've got stuff I need to pay. Yeah. What is the point? So with remote working, I don't know if emailing the employer up front before having, speaking to them would go against the candidate. A lot of the things I advise on are things that I've seen patterns over years. So I'm confident in the advice that I give. With remote working, it's kind of new. So I wouldn't want to recommend someone email an employer saying, you know, is this remote? Yeah. When it might put the employer off and, and they might think, oh, well, does this person just want, you know, just want that? Which I think is fine if somebody is, that's important to the person, but mm. not every employer is the same. So um, I'd say at least have a conversation with them. They'll talk to you about the role. Oh, let's go through your CV. Great. Can I um, can I just ask, is this role a hybrid role? Probably ask if it's hybrid first and then they'll they'll tell you. And then you can, they, they'll ask you what you're looking for and you can just say, I'm ideally looking for something hybrid. How many, however many days you want to go in. Yeah. The, the remote roles are shrinking on the market as people go back. Yeah. So it's okay. shrinking now. So <laughs> okay. cool. you, it, it may be a case of a candidate's need to, if you're looking for a job, you may need to adjust your expectations a little. Um, I hate saying that because I want candidates to get everything that they deserve out of the process. Like you want remote, you should go for remote. Mm. But those jobs are a lot, there's a lot of people competing for them. Yeah. So you may need to be aware that you may need to, you may need to go in at least part of the week. 